This sports segment of Naperville News 17 is brought to you by Belgio's Catering, a tradition of excellence. You know, it's frustrating when your crosstown rival bests you three consecutive years in the state sectional finals. Yeah, consider Naperville North girls water polo frustrated with those pesky Naperville Central Red Hawks. So what are the Huskies going to do about it? Let's go to a probable playoff preview in the central pool. Let's open up in the first. Red Hawks up 1-0 and make it 2-0 after Jody Nelson slams the top right shelf. Huskies got to be thinking, not again, right? No, literally, not again. Isabel Rocco gets the feed out in front of the net, takes a moment to gather herself, then knocks the game up at two in the second quarter. Huskies going on a rampage. Seven straight goals, including this one from Taylor Wessel, opening up a wide margin. But don't think the Red Hawks will be grounded without a fight. No, no, they're actually taking flight. Hallie Spank finds some wiggle room and pulls Central to within three. To the fourth, the Red Hawks actually to within two, but North seals the deal with a pair of goals and celebrates a win over its bitter rival, 11-7 the final. Jumping out of the pool and onto the hardwood, Nequa Valley hosting Matia Valley in a matchup on the badminton court. Mustangs getting off to a strong start. Nitya Nagarajan splits the Wildcats. Envy picks up the win at number one doubles. Nagarajan still on the court for number one singles against Nequa's Joyce Chen. And again, the Mustang with a victory. Matia claiming three wins atop the lineup sheet. Beniqua proving to be a deep squad, claiming an 11-4 win, including at two doubles. Matia not done for the week, traveling to Naperville North as well. And the top double pair for Matia not exactly faring quite as well with Clara Dewan and Taylor Zhao taking care of business with a two-set sweep. At number two singles, we find last year's state runner-up Emma Lin taking on Yunwei Liang. And Lin showing the firepower that nearly made her a state champ. Huskies win the meet with a dominant 15-0 team score. Out to the pitch for a little soccer between Batavia and Wabonzi Valley. 0-0 match midway through the second half. Lady Bulldogs get a point-blank look at the net after action in the box, but Sarah Young stands tall and keeps the match scoreless. Six minutes later and the Warriors are sniffing a score. Molly Valick chips it into the box and a miscue gives Tara Todd a chance and she doesn't miss. Taps it into the twine to take a 1-0 advantage. But with the game set to expire in mere minutes, Batavia gives it one last go, and the send-in is on target, and Gracie Tobias makes Dub V pay. Game finishes in a 1-1 draw. To softball, Matia hosting Joliet West, and the Tigers get in a gapper from Sarah Budzinski to drive in two for an early lead. Mustangs battling back. Caitlin Sarah gets a pitch she can pull, yanks it down the left field line, brings in a run, MV down 4-1. Bottom five, Matia hoping for a rally. Meredith Olaf shoots it left side, brings in another run, but the Mustangs drop the game 7-3. to three. That's it for sports, Kim. Back to you. Thanks, Kevin. Be sure to find Naperville Sports Weekly Sunday night at 6.30 for the highlights of the Wabonzi Hockey Club in the state championship game. <laughs>